We said, well, we're not going to fix it that way, right? And so, again, what we're saying is you went off the road into the ditch, and yes, there is this way where we could push you and help you out of the ditch, but we're not going to offer you that option. What we are going to offer you the option is, in this case, right, because you bring the insurance companies in and all that, you keep, keep maintain the existing structure, we're going to offer you more ice, right, <laughs> and a cold night. And, and so we ended up reforming our health care by not doing the thing that everybody, like Norwegians do. We have a Norwegian here. Okay, just be polite. And so, so we're not going to do that. So we take the, and we take the public option off. So we, we take the social democratic options off the table immediately. And you think, well, that could only happen once. Except, of course, remember, remember the BP disaster down in the Gulf? That was kind of a nasty situation, right? Big multinational company basically wrecks the Gulf of Mexico. I don't care how uneducated you are geographically. It's on maps. We know where that is. They wrecked it. And so, what do we say? Of course, in, in most countries around the world, you would say, I'm sorry. You know, we do not let the people who wreck things clean them up. Right? That is not, that's irrational. No. We have an Army Corps of Engineers. We have experts in all these areas. We have a, we're a great big country. We're going to immediately clean that up. We're not going to sit around and wait for somebody to figure out how to do it. We're going to do it and we're going to give the bill to the people that messed it up. That's a logical, rational way to do it. What did we do? We literally said, we're going to wait for BP to figure out a plan. Do you remember those? You probably forget it because it's something you put out of mind. But for weeks, we're watching television, and there's like these poor people in like Mississippi and, and, and you know, the Florida Pan, as if enough bad things hadn't happened to them already. And suddenly there's oil creeping up and stuff like that. And the, they're talking about all these species that are being destroyed. And we say, well, we are still waiting for BP to come up with that plan for how to clean it up. We took the social democratic option of saying, no, this corporation really screwed up. We are going to use the power of the people working collectively to fix this thing up. And then we'll make them pay for it. Took that off the table. And you know what? There's still huge problems down there in, in the Gulf of Mexico. So, okay, you say, well, that, okay, maybe it happened twice, but it could never happen more than, well, okay, what happened in 2007, 2008? I know this is ancient history, so many of you are so young, you don't remember, but the global economy <laughs> collapsed, right? And why did it collapse? How many of you saw the big short? Everybody asks people, candidates for president a question, a lot of you saw the big short. In the big short, which is a fantastic movie, because they have fashion models, Celebrity chefs and rock stars explain complex financial concepts. It's really great. They literally, in the middle of the movie, they'll say, I'm going to let, you know, pop star, you know, Selena Gomez explain this. And it's great because you actually pause because we're so much more interested in celebrities than we are in, you know, reality. So, in, but they collapsed the global economy. And these were really irresponsible people who knew what they were doing. They knew ahead of the time that what they were doing was fiercely irresponsible and that that was going to cause immense pain to a lot of people. And so what do we do when this horrible thing happened? We said, well, you know, you, you, you've been really bad, so first off, we're going to make you whole, right? We're going we're gonna to give you a whole bunch of money, like, I don't know, it's an emergency, so we're going to give you $800 billion right off the bat, but then we're going to take another, you know, multi-trillions of dollars and lock them up in the Federal Reserve so that we can bail out companies and banks that may have been harmed by this. Bernie Sanders finally demanded an audit of this, right? And you've forgotten the history. But the incredible thing is the audit they did of all that money they, that was being given to banks and corporations, we were giving the bank, the Libyan banks money while we were bombing Libya. I mean, it was absolute scorching madness because we didn't do what any social democracy would do, which is say, you crash the global economy? A, like Franklin Roosevelt, we're probably going to try and hold a few of you to account. But B, we're not going to give you more money to do it again. And instead, we're going to use all that money, which we suddenly found out, boy, do we have a lot of money sitting around. We are staggeringly rich, right? We've got tens of trillions of dollars that we can just throw around however we like. So instead of giving it to banks, why didn't we give it to the people who are underwater in their mortgages? Do you realize?